is. He actually has one. Now, apparently, um, Oprah asks Sarah Palin on her show today about a talk show, if she wants to have one or host one, and she doesn't answer it. So apparently that's where all this talk show stuff with Palin got started. Tom in Houston, welcome to the program, sir. Nice to have you here with us. Tea Party dittos, Rush. Thank you. Rush, you're right to disagree with that lady last hour who was fearful of Sarah Palin being the Republican candidate in 2012. I think that the media fears that there's many more women who would vote for a woman candidate than there were the 98 percent of blacks who voted for a Marxist back in November. What is this? I've got to find a story here before you go. Um, I think I think you have a point there. Uh, I gotta find this. I gotta find because it's a stunning number. Not even I knew it because I got so caught up in this concept of the gender gap. And I've always uh, responded to the gender gap by saying a dirty little secret is that uh, people that win elections win it with white males. But it's a, it's a story that the vast how many elections in the past have been ah uh, let's see let's see was well, maybe it's in this. Second. I think it is in the last four or five elections. Here it is. Uh, Democrats have not won a majority of white women since 1964. Democrats have not won a majority of white women since 1964. They go Republican. So the guy here from Houston may have a point.